now T minus three minutes and 30 seconds. Everything continues to be on track for the test firing of the Falcon 9 rocket at Space Launch Complex 40 at Cape Canaveral Space Force Station. That test firing is planned for 9.10 a.m., a little more than three minutes from now, 9.10 a.m. Eastern Time, 13.10 UTC. Once again, if you're just joining us, I'm Stephen Clark from Space Flight Now, reporting live at the Kennedy Space Center. I'm a few miles away from Pad 40. You're looking at a view of Pad 40 and the Falcon 9 rocket right now, where SpaceX is uh, about to have the Falcon 9 fully loaded with propellant. That milestone should come in about a minute or so. The Falcon 9 has been loaded with about a million pounds of kerosene and liquid oxygen over the last half hour or so. For this test firing, the nine Merlin 1D or M1D engines at the bottom of the first stage will light for about seven seconds. Restraints will keep the Falcon 9 on the ground while this test firing occurs. SpaceX uh, has removed and foregone static fire tests for most of its launch campaigns. However, uh, the company still performs these tests when there, there has been significant amount of rework for the booster, this reusable booster between missions, which is the case for this rocket, Booster 1069, which was damaged during a rough landing on a drone ship back in December. This booster launched a uh, cargo mission to the International Space Station on December the 21st of last year and made a hard landing on the drone ship, damaging some of its components, its engines, landing legs as well, uh, appeared to be damaged when the rocket came back into port. So those repairs have been completed. Uh, at least some of the engines, if not all the engines, have been replaced. Now a minute 20 seconds from ignition time, the strong back structure that masked on the right side of the rocket is now in position for engine start, moved back to an angle of about a degree and a half from the airframe of the Falcon 9 vehicle. T minus 60 seconds until the static fire test. This test firing is in preparation for launch Saturday night with another batch of Starlink Internet satellites. Those satellites are already on board, stacked on top of the Falcon 9 rocket for this test firing. Twenty seconds until ignition. Falcon 9 is now controlling this final phase of the countdown before engine start for this static fire test. Ten seconds. T minus five seconds. And there's engine start, nine engines firing at the bottom of the Falcon 9 first stage. And there, apparently, we see engine cutoff. That, that appeared to be a planned duration for this static fire test, which typically lasts about seven seconds, and that's about what we saw with this plume of exhaust uh, coming out of the flame trench to the east of the pad. This was apparently a good static fire test, although SpaceX engineers will run through and analyses of the data to make sure the engines were all performing well and the rest of the vehicle worked as expected during this test firing. And we expect to hear confirmation from SpaceX uh, sometime potentially later today, hopefully, about the outcome of the test and the status of the launch schedule, which right now is targeted for Saturday night at 10.22 p.m. Eastern, 2.22 a.m. Sunday UTC. The forecast from the U.S. Space Force's 45th Weather Squadron uh, shows an iffy weather forecast with 60% uh, probability of uh, weather preventing the launch at 10.22 p.m. Eastern Time. SpaceX will have a backup opportunity later Saturday night if the weather is no-go at 10.22 p.m. So at least two instantaneous launch opportunities expected Saturday night, 10.22 p.m. And then we expect the second opportunity 
between an hour and an, and an hour and a half later.